What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you a super sick tracking mask effect in Final Cut Pro 10 using the built-in tracker. We're going to be creating something as smooth as that. I can also shoot lasers out of car headlights, out of people's eyes, and I figured out how to use the tracking feature with the masks. There's literally not that many keyframes to work with in this video. And if you guys are finding these videos helpful for your own projects or for your next project, please consider leaving a like be sure to comment down below for any video ideas and be sure to subscribe if you are new and then go to where you want to add your main effects so this uh, kind of edit is a little bit inspired by Susie made it amazing director and editor and then I'm gonna go to edit at the top I'm gonna go down to add freeze frame and then it's going to add this really long freeze frame that Final Cut Pro 10 likes to add for absolutely no reason so just trim this down to a couple of frames, maybe a couple of seconds. From there, what you're gonna do is select the video, make sure your playhead is at the beginning, go to the effects, go to masks, add a draw mask onto the clip. What you're gonna do is select the logo as clean as you can, finish off with the first point, you're gonna see a little circle next to the pen tool, indicating that you're gonna be closing the path, so click on this, and everything else should be black, and then uh, if we go back to the inspector tab and we click off of it, you're gonna see that, it's, that there's gonna be some harsh edges, so you guys can see that here. So if we go to like maybe under the feather, if you feather it outwards, just drag the slider to the right and that will feather it outwards or if you drag it to the left, it will feather it inwards. So I'm going to feather this uh, maybe to the left a little bit and then adjust the fall off to the right a little bit. This way it just makes it a lot more softer in the edges. Quick break for today's sponsor, Motion VFX. If you're an editor like me and hate having to spend so much time on effects, transitions, and titles, then their plugins will come in handy. I've used their products before for my own projects for five years now and many of their elements you see in my videos are because of their amazing plugins. They have every plugin you can imagine for any type of project you're working on with cool cinematic features, great LUTs and all sort of templates. For example, the MTuber 3 plugin is an excellent choice for any YouTuber or content creator looking to spice up their videos. With the MTuber 3 plugin, you get 72 time-saving visual tools like animated lower thirds, subscribe buttons, chapter bars, intros, and more. If you prefer the more cinematic route, the M Title Cinematic 2 plugin is just for you. You get movie-inspired titles for a truly filmic aesthetic. These are only a few of their many products on their website. Motion VFX develops your plugins in-house by a team of world-class coders and motion designers and they simply work seamlessly even on M1 computers. I'll have a link down in the description of this video if you want to learn more about their products and ways you can make your own video that more interesting. With that, what you're going to do is you're going to click and drag upwards and you're going to notice now if you push play, it's going to uh, not be tracked, right? So instead of going like how we normally do it by going to like the draw mask, adding a keyframe, go frame by frame. That will just take absolutely forever. So what you can do is, I found a quicker way of doing this. You're gonna have your clip selected, right? Make sure the playhead is at the very beginning. Then you're gonna go over to the transform tool and you should be able to tell by going to tracker here. You should have this button. Click on the tracker button. You're gonna click and drag this grid right over that logo and adjust the size so it's a relative scale for the tracking. If it comes out all sloppy, press Command Z and then adjust these kind of uh, circles. You can adjust the grid. So with this um, applied, you're gonna go to the track forward button and this is gonna track forward in real time. And then you're gonna just let it do its thing. And now if we skim through, you're gonna notice it did an excellent job tracking the size of his shoe. If we click on done here, and we go back, it should stay in its original position. So with that, what you're gonna do is go to the beginning again, and you're gonna go to transform over here, switch to transform. So right now you're in the tracking or the tracker mode. So just click on the transform. So now you're only focusing on the uh, transform tool, then add a keyframe and then move the playhead around the middle. Then you're gonna increase the size quite a bit actually. And then you're gonna go one frame over to the right and then you're gonna add another keyframe right there. And then you're gonna move the playhead all the way to the end. Go one frame to the left. Uh, once you're here, just go and type in 100% under scale all and press enter and then click done. So now when I push play, it'll look just like that. Now, if you think this is too slow, just right click on the video, go to show video animation. And it's these uh, two points here that you wanna uh, move. So this second frame, you're gonna drag it in closer for a faster kind of pop. And then this third frame, if you drag it closer to the fourth keyframe, it'll go in a lot quicker as you can see. 
<laughs> so it's kind of fun. Play around with the uh, keyframing here. And then once you're happy with the result, zoom out so you can see the full video. And then you're gonna go over to the effects. You're gonna go down to light here, and then you're gonna go to glow, and then you're gonna click and drag this onto the freeze frame. You do it again, you're gonna do two of those. So it really pops out. So when I push play, you're gonna see it looks just like that. So go to an area where you want to shoot out lasers. I want him to shoot out from the Tesla's headlights. So I'm gonna select the car, and I'm gonna go over to the titles over here. And then under generators, you're gonna to go to the beam effect. So click and drag that above your video. And you want it to go maybe about this long. Press command B and then delete the rest. Then what I'm gonna do is select the beam. I'm gonna click this circle icon to adjust its position. And I'm gonna drag this right here. And then this outer circle allows you to control the angle. So I'm gonna go like that. Then you're gonna go over to the effects. We're gonna go down to masks and then you're gonna add a draw mask. You're just gonna click once, twice, a third time, a fourth time, and then right here. Okay, so once you finish that path off, make sure it's kind of going at its similar angle to the angle that you position the laser or the beam. Then you're gonna go back to the video properties, click on the draw mask, click show if it's hidden, and then you're gonna adjust the feather inwards because if we click off the effect, you're gonna notice that this makes it nice and soft so we don't have that really harsh edge. So drag it to the left. Now that you have that, we're gonna click back on the draw mask. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning. Go to control points, add a keyframe here. Click in between these two points on the actual red line. And then that allows you to move both of those points at the same time. Move them about here, okay? As close as you can to the first line. Then you're gonna go about maybe about here, about halfway. And then you're gonna click and drag the line back to the original position. So so now from there, uh, you're gonna go and go one frame to the right uh, a couple times, so maybe here. Then you're gonna add another keyframe. And then again, you're gonna move the playhead at the end, one frame to the left. And then you're gonna click and drag the in between these two points on the line and drag this back into the first line as close as you can. And then now when I click off of it and I go back and I push play, It'll shoot lasers just like that. Now to adjust the speed of it, it's the same thing. Just right click on the video, go to show video animation. Now you should have four points. So one, two, three, four. Again, the further they are away from each other, the slower the animation, the quicker you drag it inwards to each other, the faster it is. So I'm gonna extend this outwards. It's gonna shoot out a little bit and then maybe I want it to end sooner. So you drag the the last keyframe closer to the third frame. Just like that. But I like it kind of like this. I think that's fine. Okay, so once you are happy with that, you're gonna notice it's not being tracked. For this to work, we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did with the shoes. So go to transform, click on the tracker button, and they're gonna drag this right in the center of this headlight. Now, we're actually gonna have to make this grid a lot smaller because if we don't, it's gonna try and track everything inside of this uh, grid, which is not what we want. So just kind of try and get it as close as you can. Then you're gonna hit the track forward button and you're gonna see it's all green. It's actually did a perfect selection. So now when we push play, you're gonna notice it's actually being tracked now. Now you're gonna hold option and drag upwards to make another laser. Hit the transform button switch over to the transform tool and then drag this over to the right. So it's something like this. And then now if we click on done and we push play, you're gonna see now it shoots lasers. So if we go back and we play it through, it'll look like that and then it shoots lasers. So this is something really simple and very easy to do. And be sure to subscribe if you guys are new. I make videos just like this for all type of projects. I'll catch you on my next video.